hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel yes it ain't about you but it is about somebody and Atlanta Black Star, Atlanta Black Star brought this out to us, okay? To me, it looked like a hot mess, all right? Because this man, this older gentleman, he knows how to dress. Somebody just need to show him how to dress casually and not looking like a hot mess. Now, he had people on his platform. I'm guessing it was Instagram or Twitter, not really sure. But they were praising this look. I'm like, first, it's two tones. And most people, when they wear wear red, it's matching. I mean, the red color is matching the pants or the dress. It's all one color. Where he's getting this ruby red and hot red and them damn flip-flops. I don't know what's wrong with Steve, okay? He, this is out of character for him. I'm like, man, I'd rather saw you in some some um, khaki shorts with your little flip-flops and maybe a polo or something to that degree. Okay, first... I'm like, now that's on right there. That's on like popcorn. That dap daddy. He just needed his fedora and a little cane going on. Okay. Yeah, I know, cat. I'm, I'm I'm looking at him too. Like, what 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 was that contraption of an outfit? All right. It's just me. It's just really me. You know, I'm making my own opinions on what I see. Yeah, cat. Yeah, I'm gonna wait too. Cause I don't understand. I don't know why. Why he did this. I'm I'm with you, cat. Why did he make this ensemble, something he wanted to photograph and put on his Instagram account. Even Claire, she dresses in red a lot too when she was on the Cosby Show. But she had flavor, and Steve has flavor too. So I don't understand where that outfit ensemble went wrong. Because I even showed my daughter, I said, What you think? Because at first I thought the sleeves um, was like ruffles. And I'm saying, I'm like, is he got a little sugar in his tank? He wearing a full-blown blouse like a woman now. Are you trying to be like Lil Nas X? But then I had to look a little closer. Okay? Because I'm used to Steve Harvey looking like Dap Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like the freak of the week. But he dressed down to the nines. Okay? Look at that brother right there. Okay? And you see the little shoes, the little loafers he has on. You know? I'm like, okay. I definitely can get with that. But I know everybody don't want to be dressed up all the time. They don't want to be in their suits all the time looking fabulous. Okay. I, I get it. I got it good. However, the same way we like you looking like that or you like yourself looking like that too. Very easy on the eyes. Even if we chops the head off and just looked at the suit and the watch and the tie. And see, so he was pushing this look. Cause to, to me, it just seemed like he just fell in a... Uh, 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 a bottle of pink uh, Mangetta, uh paint and, and it just came out that way and I ain't you know that, that pink outfit was it was pushing it cause I was like okay I know you trying to be in touch with your feminine side but that but that was a bit much it made me want to puke you know what I'm saying just too much I wouldn't even want to see it on a woman like that but like I said, I had to zoom in on the lens, and he pretty much had his sleeves just flopped over. But I would not forgive him for this ensemble of a hot mess. I'm like, the coat was smoking, the pants were saying something, but that fanny pack, uh-uh. And I don't know what kind of monstrosity of a uh, statue he's standing in front of. That was a hot mess, too. But uh, the cap had to go, because... I don't know. He kind of just looked like he just threw the shit together. Now, them shoes he got on. That's another whole thing. Them pants is matching. Hell, he could have took... Ah, just like, I don't understand what Steve going with it, okay? It was just too much of the same color beaming. And how he was trying to have that fanny pack around him. I'm like, no, nah, Steve. It might, be your, it might be your stomach just poking it out a little bit. Because <laughs> we didn't want to see that. All right. But, you know, Ruby said she's going to pass on that one. She knows Steve ain't got no fashion sense when it comes to casual clothing. I'm like, come on, Steve. Damn. But anyway, Prince, that's my. When I first saw that red outfit and I saw that green monstrosity, I said, uh uh. Uh uh. Take off something because it's just too much of one color. And I can't get where you're going with it. I, can't, I just can't. All right, and even Prince like, come on, come on, Steve. All right, and, and I don't know where he got this mess from. 
That was like a, like in a clown suit or something. Same red blouse, but he went and got some pants that were white on the outside with a little trim of blue in the crotch. But I'm like, that Steve, you look like a big old clown. A clown, man. Who we just need this um clown music. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I was saying he was pushing that too much. I mean, he should have had a white um well maybe not a white but like a floral type uh manjetta pink shirt that would bring out it because that's just too pink 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 on pink and then he's gonna have some black shoes i'm like uh-uh steve no 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 i want you to fire your stylist for that particular day because every day they had a headache or they just didn't feel like fooling with you so they just threw you to the wind okay but honey he had that blouse up and it kind of looked like one of them little uh, members only jackets you know what i'm saying back in the day he just had a button up to a certain degree but yeah though i thought those was ruffles at the end of his sleeves i'm like uh uh-uh. steve are you coming out to us now are you coming out all right and he's supposed to be over there in the buy and i'm gonna tell you about the buy it ain't all over there going just touring the city and st- you know sitting on the beaches they doing some work over there when i say some work i ain't talking about no good work all my conspiracy theories, y'all know what I'm talking about. And those who can see past the notoriety of Steve Harvey should know where I'm going with it. But if you don't, you know, that'll be for another day because I don't feel like going into that. All right. I'll just say one word. Illuminati. That's all. Okay. But anyway, let's get into the article that Atlanta Black Star uh brought out on mr steve uh, ja- janisha jones brought the story out yesterday she titled it looking holiday rich steve harvey all red fit has fans singing his praises i don't see how i don't see how why, why they're singing his praises i mean it could have a gold chain. i mean it's like it what he he looked like an italian uh that i was like to show their chest like they manly you know they manly manliness coming out on them but I'm like, no, no, no. I don't think it was banging on there with them shades, okay? That was pretty much it for me. And then it goes in to say, Steve Harvey looks like he's in the Christmas spirit on his international vacation. He looked like a Christmas totem pole. That's what he looked like. A Christmas candy. Um, we call them things. Let you put on the things. Candy cane. That's what he, he need to have some white in there. It'd be straight up candy cane. Ooh, but anyway, the comedian shared Instagram photos of him in Dubai. Y'all look up Dubai. Okay? My conspiracy theories, they know what I'm talking about. What are you over there doing in Dubai? What are you doing over there? He doing work? He making work happen over there? Okay, but anyway. In Dubai, wearing all red outfit on December 3rd. Whew. 12 December plus 3. 15 okay i'm just saying for my conspiracy theories his red top was slightly open near his neck which showed off a portion of his chest which nobody really wanted to see but he felt like he was a gigolo running around now he was sexy he was too sexy for his self so he had to share his self with the world okay i'm like okay his pants were also red but were a shade darker <laughs> you know what i'm saying like who dressed steve who dressed steve for this photo shoot or better yet did he dress himself because as you can see princess is all red too but his lightness is you know making it contrast and uh, and the guitar is just saying something too nice photo op for prince okay and that was even nice what steve was pimping out there he was showcasing the red white and black you know and fashion style but that mess he got on mm-mm questionable steve that's all i'm gonna say questionable and look at what red means okay in the conspiracy world look up red all right but anyway his pants were also red but were a shade darker than the top of his slides matched the bright red color of his shirt yeah we knew that okay the look was very different from steve harvey's usual suit Fit and fans left their thoughts on the outfit in the comments. With Christmas being just around the corner, one fan said, Looking holiday rich. Someone also credited Ellie Kurama for always styling Harvey in some of the best looks. Well, this wasn't one of them in my 
a opinion okay it this was not one of them um but the article said yeah your stylist is the ish he always understands the assignment said another person i don't agree he didn't understand he missed the mark he missed the mark on this particular look okay steve be so clean stepping out every time wrote another one or another person but there were two other reasons besides the holiday and looking fresh that harvey wore the outfit in dubai according to his harvey wore uh, according to his caption, Harvey was wearing a piece to commemorate uh, Virgil Abalon's life, a well-known fashion designer for Louis Vuitton, recently passed away on November 28th. Okay, after losing a two-year battle to a rare cancer called cardiac angiosarcoma. Okay, I think that's a brain cancer. But anyway... Okay, no, no, it could have been a heart, heart, okay. But anyway, look up November, being the 11th, and do the 28th. Tell me what y'all get, okay? But anyway, he was 41, the uh, designer that passed, quietly battled the disease which led to a shocking reaction of many celebrities when the news broke of his passing. Okay, in this caption, Harvey wrote, my stylist at LE30 put together a Louis Vuitton look from virgil's first fashion show he also shared that he was currently on his trip for dubai's 50th anniversary on december 2nd the united arab emirates emirates celebrated its national day which marked 50 years since its founding now steve you were not born over there in dubai what shits are you trying to play Okay, what is going down really in the 50th anniversary of Dubai? Okay, because you're not over there for their culture. You're not over there because you want to be. What's the real tea? What's the real tea, Steve? What's the real tea? Okay, Um, going again in her article, it says Harvey spent a good amount of time in the UAE. E and even teamed up with a videographer at the top of this year to make inform informational or inform wait a minute. Yeah, informational content about UAE. He recently went back in the last week of November to launch Melt, Middle East and Events and Consulting Company. Really now, Steve, are you moving to Dubai? Okay, it's the fresh stock over here and sending them over there getting to be a little too hot for you so you have to do it over there in dubai let us know inquiring minds really really want to know okay but going from there it says in a statement released in may he spoke about his new venture saying when i visit the uae in 2020 i instantly knew i wanted to create a venture that will highlight the talent culture and many business opportunities that the middle east has to offer he added through my many strong personal relationships in media and business melt middle east aims to bridge the gap between western and middle east culture while simultaneously creating engaging content and activations that will in turn generate a new and innovative uh, revenue stream now anybody that know me that know comedy no i don't care too much uh shits of a shit's tail shits of a sheep's tail for steve harvey because i really really think he had something to do or he knew something was going on with his constituent burning mac and his untimely death okay because bernie pretty much had it all with steve was pretty much subpar at the time do you hear me do you hear me do you hear me and once you know Bernie was out the way it took place for Steve to be doing some things for some change and I mean some strange things but that's just my conspiracy mind just uh working overtime but those who understand where I'm going with it uh, you can get down in them comments and then we can seek to try to have a decent conversation other than that, I'm going to say thank you for letting me come and grace your screens with another award-winning gossiping video. Okay, for y'all to partake of from me to you. And if you would like to, please subscribe to the channel. 
Facebook messing with my numbers too. So if you happen to find yourself unsubscribed to me, please subscribe back to my channel, okay? Because I've been noticing some strange things that Facebook is doing. Alright, but they've done it all the time. It's nothing new. But here and there, I might have to ask you all. If it comes up as unsubscribed or whatever, please subscribe back to me. So I can continue to grow, flourish, and keep the keepings going. The conversation is what I'm saying. Because y'all know I don't talk about everybody. Okay, just certain people that I thought were doing what they said they were supposed to be doing. And then they're doing something else. And I had to come out and holler at them. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Okay, what is it benefiting you for putting this trash up here? But it just is what it is. Okay, so I'll see y'all next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.